Today, we're going to see who can build the safest temples. Whoa, I love temples. We're only going to have 10 minutes to build it. So which side do you want to build on, Wudo? Obviously, the green side, Mongo. Okay, then I'm obviously going to pick the red side. Good luck on your build, Mongo. Good luck, Wudo. All right, now let's get started on our build. And for this pyramid, we have to fly all the way out here since it's going to be so huge. So let's just come over here and use this command. And boom, 10,000 blocks just got placed. Check how big this pyramid is it is let's see how it looks from the outside this thing is gonna be insane and check it out oh my gosh it's almost as big as the wall this is insane so yeah this pyramid definitely has enough space for all of the deadly traps we're gonna be using the first trap that i want to start off with is an entrance so let's build out two doors like this and let's make sure there's walls to both of these doors and the reason why we have two entrances is because one of them is gonna be super deadly and the other one is gonna allow you to enter the temple so all we need now is some signs some tea TNT, pressure plates, and of course, we can't forget the paintings. The right door is going to be the deadly one, so all we have to do is just mine down like this. And now all we have to do is place the TNT in the bottom like this. And then, of course, we need to put the pressure plates right on top of them. After that, we need to put the signs on the doors like this. After the signs are on, we need to put on the paintings like this. So whenever Wudo enters this door, he's just going to fall straight into TNT and blow up. But we obviously can't have the rest of the base blow up, so what we need to do is get this block called Obsidian. And if you guys didn't know, obsidian doesn't take any damage to tnt so our base will be totally fine let's just replace all the diamonds inside of this room with obsidian there you go now our temple is going to be super duper secure and since we have the deadly entrance we need to start making the actual entrance over here and boom there you go we have both of our entrances now all we have to do is use a sign that says door one and this one is going to say door two i can't wait to see which door wudo picks so if wudo picks the right door he's going to be entered into our huge temple and in this temple the first thing he's going to be doing is some lava parkour. So I'm gonna be building a huge parkour course that Wudo has to go through. And let's just say it definitely won't be easy. We need to make sure that the walls of this parkour course are super huge so that Wudo doesn't see the rest of the build. There you go. This should be good enough. Now we can start building the actual parkour. And for this parkour, we're gonna need a few blocks. So let's get them real quick. We're gonna need some slime blocks, some iron bars, some sticky pistons, some buttons, and some ladders. So now that we have all these items, we can actually start building the parkour out like this this is gonna be the first jump but once Wudo makes this jump he's gonna have to jump onto the wall to this iron bar after that he's gonna have to do another jump to this iron bar right here and the reason why we're using iron bars is because they're super thin and you can easily fall off so let's just add another iron bar jump right here so once Wudo comes over here he's gonna be met with the slime block jump where he's basically gonna have to press this button to be launched super high so after he gets launched i want him to land all the way over here and after Wudo lands here i I want him to do another slime block jump that'll take him right here. And from here, I'm gonna make Wudo jump onto this little platform right here, where he's gonna have to do this jump called the Neo. And if you guys didn't know, this type of parkour is basically when you have to go around the block and land in between. So this is gonna be a super hard jump for Wudo to complete. Once Wudo does that, however, I want him to jump onto this wall to this ladder. After that, he can do another ladder jump right here and another slime block jump all the way over here. And now to finish off the parkour, what we're gonna do is add a few more iron bar jumps and there you go now we're done with our parkour and if you want to get past this super deadly parkour you have to subscribe in three two one thank you for subscribing and since you subscribed we're gonna be working on our next room which is gonna have to go super duper high up and the reason why we need this super high ceiling is because wudo is gonna be playing find the button but this won't be any normal type of find the button wudo is basically gonna have only a limited amount of time to find the button and the reason why he's only gonna have a small amount of time is because Lava is gonna be falling down from the ceiling So he's gonna have to find the button really quickly to move on to the next room So now all we have to do is just add a few more buttons around the room like this We'll just scatter them all over the place So Wudo has to pick a lot of them and we'll even add some on the floor And now that we have all these buttons the door is gonna be right here And the button that's gonna open the door is gonna be this one right here So let's just route some redstone to the door and now if we press this button the door should open And after Wudo gets past the find the button room he's gonna be moving Moving on to the next section, which is gonna have to take a few stairs up to. And now that we have the stairs, we're gonna be getting this item called spikes. And if you guys don't know, spikes are super duper dangerous. Whenever you fall on them or stand near them, they do a lot of damage to you. So if I go to game mode survival, as you can see, I'm taking so much damage. So basically, this entire floor is gonna be made out of these spikes. And the reason why we have spikes on the ground is because Wudo is gonna be playing a game of chances. So basically, we're gonna get this item called the ghost block. And if if you guys didn't 
didn't know ghost blocks are an item that copies over a block, but it really isn't a real one. So if I try to jump on this diamond block, as you can see, I just fall straight through it. So with this ghost block, we're going to be creating different types of jumps that Woodrow's going to have to get through. But if he chooses the wrong jump, he basically falls onto the spikes and dies. So let's add our first ghost block right here. Let's add our next one right here. And then we're going to keep continuing this pattern of fake and real blocks so that Woodrow has to choose between them every single time. And if he chooses wrongly, obviously he's just going to die. And there you go. Now all the jumps are completed. Woodrow has a 50-50 chance to go through each of these jumps. And if you made it to this point of the video, I want you to comment hashtag fake. Let's confuse everyone else in the comment section. And if Woodrow makes it to the end, he's going to have to land on these slime blocks right here where he's going to move on to the next room. And in this room, Woodrow is going to be fighting some deadly mobs. So let's get some dispensers, some redstone, and some redstone repeaters. Let's also get a lever. And now all we have to do is put in the dispensers like this. We're going to put a lot of them this time because I want Woodrow to fight a lot of mobs. After we do that, all we need to do is put the redstone repeaters behind these dispensers to connect all them. And then we need to connect all the redstone repeaters with this redstone right here. After that, we need to route this redstone all the way to the start of the room. And once we're over here, we're going to put down a lever that's going to activate all of the dispensers. And now that we have all the dispensers set up, we need to put in the mobs that Woodrow is going to fight. And he won't be fighting any regular type of mobs. What he's going to be fighting is called a mummy. And if you guys don't know what mummies are, they're basically humans that lived a long time ago. And they're usually found inside temples and pyramids. Check this thing out. It looks super scary. If we go into survival mode, this thing should start attacking us. Oh my gosh, look, it's even spawning in things. So it's safe to say that Woodrow's going to have a hard time fighting all these mummies at once. So we're going to need to give Woodrow some armor so he can defeat these mummies. And the armor that I'm going to give Woodrow is netherite armor. He's going to need the best of the best to defeat these things. He's also going to need this netherite sword and we'll also throw in five golden apples. So now let's get some chests and put them right here. And inside of this chest will be all the items that Woodrow is going to need to fight the mobs. And now all we have to do is just fill up all these dispensers with these mummies. I can't wait to see Woodrow's reaction when he starts fighting these things. There's no way he's going to be able to go through this trap without dying at least once. And if Woodrow can defeat all these mobs, he's going to move to the next room, which is going to be over here. And in this next part, Woodrow's going to have to pick between two rooms. One that is made out of lava blocks and the other one made out of water blocks. And since Woodrow is a turtle, he's probably going to pick the water room. So we're going to make this the bad room. And since I love lava because it's the closest thing to red, we're going to make this the good room. Now that the rooms are made, let's just put doors to them. And inside, let's start putting in some items. So for this room, we're going to make a desert theme. So let's just put in this command and boom. And now we can add some cactuses to this room to give it even more vibrance. But since this is the bad room, what we're going to need to do is spawn in some mobs. So let's get some skeleton spawn eggs and some wither skeleton spawn eggs. Let's just put these mobs all over the place inside this room. And now let's spawn in some skeletons like this. And to make it so these mobs don't despawn, we need to get an anvil and also a name tag. So we're going to name all these guys Timmy Wimmy. Let's just get this name tag and let's start putting it on all of them. This way they won't despawn and they're going to be a super big surprise for Udo. And now that we have the deadly side complete, let's work on the super nice side. All we have to do for this is just set the ground to grass blocks. Now let's get some bone meals. Let's also get a tree sapling. And now let's start using the bone meal around this whole place. Let's put our tree down right here and let's also bone meal this. Let's also add a little pond in this area right here. This way it gives more detail to this room. And check it out. Our super nice room is done. Look at the difference between these two rooms. I can't wait to see which room Woodo picks. And after Woodo gets past the lava room, he's going to be entered into this hallway, which is going to contain this thing called a mine. And if you guys didn't know, mines are super duper deadly. If I break this block right now, as you guys can see, it causes a huge explosion. So if Woodo even touches any of them, he's literally just going to explode and die. So let's start off by putting a row of mines right here. We'll put another row right here, and then we're going to keep this pattern going for a few more blocks. We'll even make these rows a little bit thicker. And once it gets over to this area, I want to do a zigzag effect with these mines. After that, I want him to do a mini maze with the mines. So we're going to make it turn this way. And then we're going to make it do another turn this way. And after he gets to this spot, we're just going to put a bunch of random mines like this. And there you go. Now we're done with our minefield. Look how insane this looks. There's at least 100 mines here. And if Woodo even touches one of them, all of them are going to blow up. And after Woodo is done with the mines, he's going to have to answer some questions in this hallway. And if he answers the questions wrong, he's going to die. So for this trap, what we're going to need is some signs, some paintings, and of course, we need some lava. So let's just put the signs on the wall like this. And now let's put the paintings above them like this.
this. After that, all we need to do is put in the question. The first question is going to be, what is the best game? The first answer is Minecraft. And the second answer is Roblox. And obviously, we all know what the right answer is. It's Minecraft. So behind Roblox, what we're going to do is add some lava. And we're going to block him up so he can't escape. Woodo better not answer this question wrong. Because if he does, I might not be friends with him anymore. And the next question is going to be, how old is Minecraft? The first answer is one years old. And the second answer is 11 years old. And the game Minecraft has been out for a while. So the right answer is 11 years old. And the final question is going to be, what should the viewers do right now? And the only correct answer to this is subscribe. So we're going to put subscribe for both of them. This is literally the easiest question since both of them don't have any traps behind them. So if you're watching, please make sure to subscribe. And when Woodo gets past these questions, he's going to be done with the temple. And he's going to enter this giant room where the whole floor is going to be made out of green blocks. I know how much Woodo loves the color green, so I decided to make this entire room his favorite color. And we're also gonna put a chest inside of this room. And the chest is gonna have a bunch of goodies like golden apples and diamonds. But Woodo can only enter this room and get that prize if he finishes the rest of the temple. Which is gonna be really hard because look at all these deadly traps. He's gonna die at least a few times. And since the time is basically up, let's see if Woodo's done. Hey Woodo, time is up. Are you done with your build? I've been done, Mongo. Just coming over to my side. All right, I'm coming right now, Udo. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at your build in three, two, one, boom, what is it? And what in the world is this, Udo? Don't you love it? It's a dirt temple! It's so amazing! Um, it's made out of grass blocks and dirt, Udo. I don't know if I really like that, to be honest. My one is made out of diamonds. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Dirt is an amazing block to build a temple out of, Mongo. All right, whatever. Your temple is kind of small compared to mine's, but that doesn't matter, Udo. Show me around. All right, head on inside, Mongo, because you are going to meet the greatest challenge you have ever seen in Minecraft. This is some insanely difficult lava parkour. So good luck jumping on these blocks and getting all the way across. Okay, Woodo, this is supposed to be the deadliest and hardest parkour. Are you serious? I can do this in two seconds. Watch this. Oh, really? Then do it in two seconds then. I'm counting. One, two. Oh, you're not done yet, Mongo. You're not done yet. Oh, no, I fell. What? No way. I just fell like that. <laughs> That's your first death, Mongo. Just so you're aware, I'm keeping track. There's no way I'm going to die again, okay? I was just slippery. These blocks still have water or something on them. Come on, there you go. And the final jump in three, two, one, boom. There you go, baby. What? Oh, wow. You actually did it. I'm kind of shocked, Mongo. That's usually like impossible. You're shocked that I did that parkour? Really, Woodo? I can do that in my sleep. Well, I mean, you did die one time, so you really couldn't. But anyways, Mongo, check this out. This is even harder laser parkour. You have to jump over each of these individual lasers and make it all the way across this hallway. What happens if I don't jump over them, Woodo? Oh, you don't want to find out, Mongo. You are going to get toast to a crisp. Okay, then I guess I'll jump over them. This doesn't look hard either, Woodo. There's so much space in between them. So I'm going to do this while I'm sleeping. Come on. I'm sleeping right now. I literally have a nice pillow over me. Hey, what are you oh, doing? Oh, what are you oh, doing? Oh. oh, that was close. I almost died. Why in the world are you hitting me, Woodo? Um, no, that wasn't me. I think that was like a frog or something. A frog? What? Woodo, are you serious? Whatever. I'm going to go over here and boom, I'm done. Oh, fine. I guess you made it past that part, Mongo, but you're never going to make it past this one. Take a look at this chest and take what's inside. A wooden pickaxe. Really, Woodo? Just one wooden pickaxe. What am I going to do with this? Go mining? No, Mongo. You're going to be using it for something a lot more dangerous. Just head inside that door, okay? Okay, what could be inside this room, Woodo? And it's a normal skeleton, really? And the name of it is the Strong Boss. Woodo, this is supposed to be the Strong Boss. Are you serious? Yes, Mongo. It is super strong, and it's going to kill you if you don't attack it right now. Okay, I'm going to attack it. This thing is going to die in no time. Come on, you're so dead, the Strong Boss. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. Come on, come on, come on. You are so dead, buddy. There you go. I won. Congrats, Mongo. You actually killed it, but... There's no way you're going to make it past what's next over here, though. What could be over here, Woodo? It just looks like an empty room. Um, I don't know if it's an empty room, Mongo. You really need to open your eyes or something, because there's a lot more than just an empty room here. Um, Woodo, can you please give me a hint? I have no idea what's going on. Am I supposed to be looking for something? Am I supposed to be fighting something? I don't know, man. Maybe, but you should probably really, really check everything, and I mean everything. Okay, then I guess I'll look at the walls, since that's the only thing I can do. 
you, all right? Some very, very ugly dirt as usual, not diamonds like my pyramid. The grass blocks don't add anything. This pyramid is still so ugly. All right, well, while you keep blabbering on, Mongo, I'm just gonna sit here waiting for you to figure out how to get to the next level. So uh, I'll see you in like five years. Five years? Wudo, that's so much time. I'm literally gonna be a grown adult and I'm gonna be married. Please just tell me what I'm supposed to do in this room. Okay, Mongo, fine. Here's a little hint. You just need to right click some places, okay? Right click some places. All right, I'll start with the ground and nothing's happening. Is there like a fake button or something here? Nope, nothing's happening. Now I'm gonna go onto the walls. All right, there's nothing here. Come on, please be something around here. What's going on? And wait, what? Wait, is this a fake door, Wudo? Yup, did you see it? I hit it so perfectly. It took you forever to find. Whoa, it does look like all the dirt around it, Wudo. I have to admit, this was a really good trap. Thanks, Mongo. I appreciate it, but you're not gonna like what's ahead of you. This is some super, super deadly TNT parkour. If you make it across, you get the amazing award at the end, but otherwise, you're gonna explode and die. TNT parkour. Is there even TNT below this, Wudo? Your pyramid is literally made out of dirt. How do I believe this TNT below this? I'm just gonna go here and wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm dying. What in the world? Goodbye, Mongo. Okay, it seems like there is actual real TNT under that, so I gotta be really careful. You better be extra careful, Mongo, because that's already like your fifth death. I'm counting. Are you serious, Wudo? This is definitely not my fifth death. Someone in the comments will tell us how many deaths I have. It's definitely not five, though. Okay, let's complete this in three, two, one. Boom. Come on, come on. I'm just gonna run across like this. And whoa, 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 whoa. I made it. Oh, no. Oh, oh, what? Oh, How did I fall? You did not make it. Oh, you died, Mongo. Okay, you know what, Mongo? I feel so bad for making you die so many times when that was like your 12th death. So you know what? I'm just gonna take you here and you can just claim your prize. Wudo, you went from fifth death to 12th death. Whatever. You know what? I'm just gonna see what's inside this chest. And really, Wudo, just one melon slice. Are you serious right now? Yeah, you don't see it's red and it has a little bit of green, Mongo. It's like we're best friends. Oh, wait, it does have red inside, but ew, it has green. I hate the color green, Wudo. Wait, what? Why? Okay, you know what? Since you gave it to me, I guess I'll like it and I'll eat it. But trust me, my base has something even more cooler if you can beat it. No, no way it does. No way it does. We gotta go see it then right now. Let's go. Let's go see it, Wudo. Okay, Wudo, take a look at the greatest temple of all time. Okay, Mongo, I'm gonna take a look in three, two, one, and what? Oh my gosh, that pyramid is gigantic. But why is it made out of diamond? That's a terrible block. What do you mean? Diamonds are literally the hardest blocks to find in Minecraft, Wudo. So you know my pyramid slash temple is the best out there. As if you mined all those diamonds, Mongo, which you didn't because you were in creative mode building this. Just show me the first trap already. No, Wudo, I mined them off camera, okay? Whatever. Here, you have to pick between two doors to enter this pyramid, okay? Either door one or door two. Pick one. Oh, we can choose either one eh, you probably made door one the bad one so i'm just gonna go in door two and nice what is it <laughs> let's go well, well, why is your TNT? No! you're dying Udo. clearly door two is a trap mongo so i'm just gonna go through door one which actually blew up in that whole process so thanks for nothing Udo, that was already your first death in literally 20 seconds buddy you're gonna die a few more times in this base no i won't that will be my only death okay you're not gonna kill me anymore all right then welcome to the next part aka the world's hardest parkour. Let's see if you can complete this, Wudo. Oh, come on, Mongo. This looks insanely easy. I just have to do a jump like this and jump all the way over here. And wait, wait, this jump <laughs> is impossible. What? Really, Wudo? Your second death already? All right, Mongo. I'm going to try one more time. I'm going to hop onto this block first, and then I'm going to go all the way back here and jump and what? It's okay. It's impossible. It's impossible, Mongo. Why is it impossible? Is it actually impossible, Wudo? Let me try to do this jump, because clearly it just seems like you're complaining. Let's see. And oh, Wait, um, Wudo, it might be a little impossible, so I'll help you out there, buddy. Finally, Mongo, thank you for making the jump actually possible and not cheating, but uh, let's go ahead and try this jump, and then this jump, and boom, there I go. Okay, Wudo, now you have to use the slime block to go to this slime block. Okay, even easier. I just have to press this button, and whoa, I'm so bouncy! Whoa, you actually made the jump, Wudo. You have to do it again now. Okay, come on, even easier, and no, the 
this was impossible too. Wudo, that's literally your 10,000 death, buddy. Come on. You better start living a little bit. That is not my 10 billion death, Mongo. Watch. I'm going to do this again. And come on, come on, come on. And no. Why? All right, Wudo. At this point, I'm just going to teleport you here. Oh, thank you so much, Mongo. I'm tired of your little impossible jumps. And what's this jump? It also looks impossible. You got this, Wudo. I believe in you. Okay, come on. I just have to give it a shot. And whoo, oh my gosh, I actually made it. No way. All right, come on. And okay, I just hit the wall. And okay, what is going on? I can't do this jump. All right, Wudo. It seems like you really can't do this jump. So what I'm going to do is just break the blocks for you. No, it's not that I can't do the jump, Mongo. It's that your jumps are literally impossible. Okay, let me try jumping over here and see. Look, this is a possible jump, Mongo. Then I just jump over here, hop onto here, press this button, and we jump onto this one. All right, I just gotta go like this, jump over here, and then last but not least, hop on over to the end of this one and go to the very end just like this. Boom, I did it first try. Good job, Wudo. You did not do it first try. You died like literally 20 bazillion times. Someone in the comments can tell us how many times you died. No, no one in the comments is gonna say I died a bazillion times. They're all gonna say I died like two times, Mongo. But Wudo, whatever. Welcome to the next part where you have to find the right button to move on to the next room. Room. Wait, why are you flying up, Mongo? Because, Wudo, this isn't a normal type of find the button. There's gonna be lava that falls down on you, so you better hurry up and find the right button quick. Wait, what in the world? There's lava? Okay, quick, quick, quick. Come on, I gotta press these buttons. There has to be one over here somewhere, right? Um, uh, Mongo, what's going on? None of these buttons are working. Are you sure there's a button that actually works? Wudo, I would say you have 10 more seconds, buddy. You better hurry up. The lava is reaching you really quickly. Okay, 10 more seconds is not fast enough, Mongo. How in the world do I get out of here? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no, oh no, that lava is coming really fast, Mongo. What is it? What is it? Please, please tell me. Just tell me already. Please, please, please. Okay, okay, okay. okay. It's this one. It's this one. Just go, just go, oh, just go. Oh, okay. go, 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 go. Oh, that was so close. Wudo, look, the lava is literally right there. Oh my gosh, Mongo. I swear you made that one impossible too. No, I didn't, Wudo. The button was literally right there. You need some glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, Mongo. Just tell me, what do I have to go through now? Just go up these stairs, Wudo. Now you have to do some parkour jumps where there's one real block and one fake block per jump. Whoa, are those giant spikes on the ground? That's right, Wudo. If you fail any of the jumps, you're gonna fall all the way down in the spikes and die. Oh, no, that's not good. I don't want to die to those spikes, Mongo. Can you give me a hint for the first block, please? Okay, fine. I'll tell you the first one is this one right here, Wudo, but the rest I'm not helping you with. Oh, what? I was already thinking about choosing the right block. Tell me about the second one. All right, fine, Wudo. I'll tell you the second one. The second one is this one, but no more. I'm not helping you anymore. Wait, I knew the second one was going to be the left one. Tell me another one. No, Wudo, no more. At this point, I'm literally just going to hit you on the spike so you feel what it what? feels like. No! All right, Wudo, I'm not helping you anymore, okay? So you better complete this. Okay, Mongo, this is super easy. I just got to jump onto this one, and hey, it worked. All right, now you have, like, still 10 more blocks left, so good luck. Okay, I think it's the right one. Oh, I was right again. Wait, what? How did you get that two in a row, Wudo? Because I'm just so good at figuring out which diamond block is the fake one. I can smell it, Mongo. Turtles do not have good smelling power, so I don't even know what you're talking about. How do you know that? You're not a turtle. But whatever, Mongo. Go. I'm gonna make the next jump just like this and boom, I guessed it again correctly. Okay, there's no way you guessed three in a row right, Wudo. You're cheating or something. No, I'm not cheating. Watch, the next one's gonna be the right one too and wait, no! <laughs> That's what you get. Okay, fine, Mongo. You know what? I'm gonna finish this in two jumps, okay? I just gotta go on to this one, this one and boom! Wait, how in the world did you do that? Okay, you know what? I'm not even gonna question it, Wudo. Maybe you're just super lucky. But for this next part, you're gonna need to take what's inside this chest. Oh, okay. Wait, netherite armor? Why in the world would I need netherite armor and all these golden apples, Mongo? Because there's gonna be some super deadly mobs that's gonna attack you, Wudo. Watch this. Come over here. Okay. Wait, what's gonna attack me? Stand right there and boom, Wudo. Look at all those mummies. Wait, what in the world is that? Why are there mummies? And what are those things that are flying to me? Ew, they're beetles. You better kill all them, Wudo, or else you're gonna die. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I want to die. Come on. Come on. I got to kill these little beetles. Ew, they're so nasty. They keep spawning more. Come on, mummies. Get away from me. Get away from me, mummies. Please. Wait, Mongo. They're so hard to kill. Help me. I literally gave you the strongest armor, and I also gave you
you go to Naples. You got this, Wudo. Okay, come on. I'm going to kill these easily. I just got to continue hitting them like this. Get some critical hits. Oh, this is just too easy, Mongo. Why did you make this so easy for me? I could do this all day if you needed me to. Okay, there's three more left, Wudo. Good luck. All right, mummies. You're dead. Come on. Come on. Last mummy. Get out of here so I can just kill all these beetles already. And whew. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Beetles, just die. Just die. Just die. Come on. Just get away from me, please. You guys stink so bad. He smell like Mongo. Come on. Come on. Come on. And ow. 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 And come on. One more. Two more. One more. One more. Come on. And boom. There we go. All dead. Okay. Well, first of all, I do not smell. Second of all, congratulations. You did actually kill them. Now you get to move on to the next area where you have to pick a room between the water or the lava room. Which one do you like more, Woodo? Oh, lava or water? Hmm. I don't know, Mongo. I like water because I'm a turtle. So I'm going to go on the water side and wait. What in the world? Well, well, why are there mobs in here? No, 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 no. I'm not going in there. I'm not going in there. I'm not going in there. That's too dangerous for me, Mongo. This is what happens when you like water, Woodo. You got to start liking lava, the greatest thing of all time. Oh, no. Lava is not the greatest of all time, Mongo. You're just going to force me in here because you like the color red, okay? And orange is like the color red. And I don't like that, okay? Whatever. What is this? Some like fake fancy looking area? This isn't even real. You put this here. No, I didn't, Woodo. Smell the air. Smell the aroma. It smells so good in here. And check out this pond there's some little fishies flying around you can't see them though this area is literally the best area of all time no it's not mongo that's probably poisonous water and you probably put in flake flowers okay okay what is this okay Woodo, this is the next part where you have to go through all of these mines and if you hit one of them you die and all of them explode okay mongo this is so easy i'm so good at your little mine mazes that i'm gonna completely annihilate this one i just gotta hop here and then hop here and whoa okay these ones are kind of hard i'm not gonna lie I just got to jump here, and then I got to jump like this, and then like this, go in between these, and then I just got to run through here just like this super, super fast. And I'm going to hop into this one, and no! Whoa! Oh, uh, Mongo, I did not mean to do that. What in the world just happened? Wait, you didn't die, Woodo? What the heck? That netherite armor is way too OP. Well, Mongo, it wasn't the netherite armor. It's just because I'm a super strong turtle, okay? I use my turtle shell. No, you're not, Woodo. Whatever. All right, Woodo, welcome to the next section where you have to answer questions, and if you answer them wrong, you die. Wait, I don't want to die. Well, what is the question? The first question is, what is the best game? Minecraft or Roblox? Okay, Mongo. Obviously, no, it's Minecraft. Minecraft is the best game ever. <laughs> That's right, Woodo. Now, the next question is, how old is Minecraft? Is it one years old or is it 11 years old? Um, Is it like one year old, Mongo? That's, that's kind of what I remember, right? It's like one year old. It's like kind of like baby. And, oh, oh, it's uh not. No, Woodo. Minecraft's been literally out forever. Oh, okay, fine, Mongo. I don't know if this is true, but I guess you're saying it is. So I'm just going to go through here and uh, wait, what does this say? What should the viewers do right now? Subscribe or subscribe? Well, obviously the viewers should subscribe, but which side do I go in? Well, uh, both of them say subscribe. So they do the same thing. They're both good. Come on through. Yay. Let's go. Make sure to subscribe. <laughs> That's right. And since you completed my temple, Udo, you got to be in this room. What? It's all green. I love it. I love it so much. I knew you'd love it, Woodo. And since you did complete it, you also got this chest. Whoa, what is this? Oh my gosh, you got so much good stuff for me, Mongo. Let's go. I'm rich. I'm rich. Yes, you are, Woodo. I hope you had a lot of fun inside of my temple. I had a ton of fun, Mongo. But do you know how the viewers can have even more fun? By watching the videos on screen. That's right. Click on the video on screen to see me and Woodo having a lot of fun. Bye.